Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always before I proceed I also publish on Rumble and I'm on these uh, sites here in case for extra support and all that stuff and so let's get started not much happening on the hardware front we got still some more um, deals on the RTX 7000 series especially the seven, the, in this case the 7900 XT for around 700 dollars uh, in uh, uh, micro center uh, so uh, united states only and in uh, only in store pickup uh, still this is pretty good deal because the the, the gpu was launched uh, around uh, like 899 so 900 dollars it's 200 dollars less even though it's a great price still i think this card should be uh, launched uh, maybe around this price that it is at this moment uh, given taken even taking into account the the fact that it should be uh, less like 650 maybe i think it will be uh, like almost the sweet spot given the conditions of the the, the gpo market and everything uh, but still this is a very good deal um it's an excellent 1440p with all everything ramped up on the details and everything and very decent um, or proficient 4k gaming uh, gpu also uh, with uh, mainly because uh, i think it, not only but uh, given the fact that he has uh, 20 gigabytes of vram and the fact that it is i think it's uh, 256 bit bus memory i think it's a decent card to um, to have like a 1440p entry entry to mid-level 4k gaming and will last you uh, uh, some time so the, the vram issue of uh, probably with this new uh, launches that we're going to get this year uh, will not be an issue if you're aiming mainly for 1440p and like 4k uh, gaming i think it's an excellent one and if you can pick it up and if you were waiting for something from some deal to to get around this uh, kind of um, gaming uh, even 4k I, I think it's a pretty decent deal and if you have uh, if you close by with a, a micro center in the united states i think it's a good deal to grab um also i've been seeing this the 4060 uh, i don't care too much about this this, this thing uh they started to say that it was like 20 percent faster than the rtx uh, 3060 12 gigabytes even though I think the 12 gigabytes, in terms of pure performance, it's a little bit slower than the 8 gigabytes. I'm not sure. Um, it's slower, but like one percentage or something like that. But uh, yeah, uh, this is not a good jump of uh, price to performance, especially uh, given that uh, it's uh, around 20 percent. Even the, the in, in the inside uh, benchmarks of Nvidia themselves. Uh, that there is a caveat uh, of the 20 percent faster without frame generation but it says it has uh, dlss when applicable uh, which uh, a dlss is the upscaling technology even at NDP, it's possible to activate dlss so it basically um uh, renders the game 20, 720 and then upscale it to 1080p um, a lot of shenanigans happening here of course there is some um 3d mark uh, and the time spy and speedway and port royal which is uh, some of them it test uh, ray tracing stuff another is uh, it's kind of performance wise uh, it's basically give us good distinction uh, in terms of performance within the the the, the same generation um usually it's uh, don't take it uh, this kind of thing very very seriously um even though uh, this kind of results don't really translate to gaming performance per se but gives you like a rough idea of what kind of performance they are trying to aim at in terms of gaming uh, gaming performance but still uh 300 uh, i'm not sure they didn't even uh, it's basically on par with the 7060 even with this kind of graphs it's uh, except for the rt1 because it's not a, the 7600 it's not a, a, an rt1 it's kind of basically on par with um uh, with the 4060, the 76. So uh, I think if the AMD, did, when this car launched, if probably AMD uh, lower like 20 more bucks to put it around 250, they they will still the, the they will steal the the thing of, of the, the the launch on the 46. Even here, uh, for, for in terms of fire strike performance, it's even lower than the 7600. I don't know. Uh, I usually I, I never use this kind of um, uh, software. Uh, so I, I don't have like a relationship to, 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 to tell you if this is going to translate in any means 
uh, regarding gaming. But uh, yeah, it's uh, even like this Fire Strike here. It's uh, I think direct, uh, direct uh, X11 like API stuff here. Uh, even the 7600 is better than the than the 3060 Ti and basically on par with the with the 4060 Ti. So uh, you can uh, take a lot of uh, a grain of salt. The the, the fact that they are saying that is 20 percent, 25 percent faster than the 4060 Ti. They will tell you that they have like more cache and everything. Uh, it's not going to solve any issues if you have uh, if you are limited in bitbus memory uh, mainly because it's it's the the, the analogy you usually make with a, with a water pipe uh, you can have all the pressure that you want if you have like a, a very thin water pipe it cannot handle the passage of water um, yeah it's basically the, the information stuff uh, but yeah uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes when it launches uh, waiting for reviews should be like one week maximum uh yeah 20 not not even one week like four or five days maximum we will have like the reviews for it it's not going to be a good launch unless they put it like they make like a huge discount like they did with the md and lower like 30 to 40 bucks to to be more competitive because this is not even entry level pricing and you got better options at this price point of 300 dollars even better than the uh, 7600 but yeah it is what it is, we will we'll see when the, the reviews come up. Uh, now, regarding gaming, I only have like this one that caught my eye, the Indiana Jones game. There's been a lot of uh, rumors around uh, um, Bethesda because of the Microsoft uh, deal with uh, Activision. Um, uh, a lot of uh, things coming uh, out of court because of, the, of testimonies and everything. And we got a, a little bit trips here and there of uh, like basically some of confirmed information and others that rumors that at the time they were they were um, uh, leaked um, some of them uh, some of this information coming on trial on this testimonies uh, kind of confirmed some of them so take it with a grain of salt uh, in one of these uh, testimonies uh, i think basically the acquisition at the time from uh, the rumblings that i've been hearing from this kind of uh, things on the court uh, regarding acquisition, the, the 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 main thing that made Microsoft uh, uh, to get Bethesda under their umbrella was basically Starfield and some exclusives because I think they had like some uh, like basically exclusivity deals making with Sony and they just snagged Bethesda because Bethesda is uh, even though it's not the, the biggest developer and publisher out there they they the games they launched they're there. People play them and buy them. Uh, for example, Fallout 3, Skyrim, Fallout 4, um, and to a certain extent, the, some of the machine head games, which is like the, the, the Wolfenstein ones. The, there is some games that uh, it, it, they, they have uh, good franchises, even though not all games are uh, excellent. But yeah, um, so it's one of the things that made them buy them, uh, and in this case, still the, the exclusivity from from Sony. Uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to comment too much on that. Um, uh, yeah, multi-platform but Microsoft uh, renegotiated with. The, this is the same thing with uh, another game uh, that was, uh, or was this game? I, I don't remember. There, there was some uh, Lucasfilm stuff that were happening uh, under Microsoft. There was like multi uh, multi platform, but then they renegotiated. I don't know if it is only this game, um, because you have Ubisoft uh, that is doing a Star Wars game. Uh, I don't recall very well. Uh, probably did this one because I've been talking a lot uh, of uh, some Indiana Jones because I like the, the the trilogy, the only three movies that exist in the world. Um, but yeah, uh, this leaker uh, of of the rumor. Uh, that there has been some kind of new information regarding like uh, the, the, the point of view like the camera angle uh, if it is first person or third person uh, so uh, because machine uh, ad games is more well known from the alpha side which is like uh, an fps and uh, i think indiana jones is more an adventure game um i think uh, like uncharted kind of angles third person angle uh, like uncharted i think it's uh, better suited at least in terms of, of concept uh, from my, my my concept of what the indiana jones game should be i think it's more suited for for this um but uh, uh, but yeah i think it's going to be a little bit mixed 
uh, not like Starfield where you can switch around or, or even like any games that usually uh, fall out and even Skyrim where you can switch up between the, the camera the camera angles I think it's going to be like kind of specific uh, so some sections is going to be first person and another should be like third person I, I don't know which ones uh, but yeah it seems to be that this is going to be like the, 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 the camera angles here uh, and the point of view is going to be like this um, but yeah, not much happening more, it's Sunday, uh, but still I have some uh, games that you should wishlist, just in case. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, it's been a little bit uh, finicky here, but um, I think they, they are on, par on the way of launching this game uh, in the near future. Um, they, they got uh, like June update on Bloodlines 2 because uh, there were some things regarding the IP. Uh, but yeah, you just wish list it just in case you want to uh, play this game. I, I'm interested in the first one, uh, starting like because uh, Vampire is always a good universe, and I, I think the first game is very good. Uh, also, you got Judas. I spoke about this game uh, like a few days or a few weeks ago. Uh, to wish list it, same same guy, Cam, Cam, Cam Levine from Bioshock uh, games. Uh, this is going to be kind of similar uh, to a certain point. It has that, that bioshock -y vibe there, uh, especially on narrative things here, the mystery and the themes that they, they are going through. Uh, yeah, seems okay. Uh, also, we got 80s too, um, to wishlist. Uh, the first one seems pretty good, uh, has overwhelming positive uh, reviews there, uh, road-like, uh, isometric views. Uh, and this one is, uh, uh, you play like the sister of 80. Uh, not Hades, the, the sister of the, the, the first um, character, or the character of the first game, sorry. Um, and there, still, there is no uh, launch date, but uh, it's a, it's coming. And the first one seems pretty good, so you can... Uh, there is no deal on the, the first one, but uh, I think it's a pretty good game, even though if you cannot get it on, um, on a deal. Uh, I think it's a pretty good game. Um, but yeah, uh, for wishlist, these three games... Uh, of course, everything I talk about, I will leave links in the description. And for gaming deals, I got uh, Art Space Shipwrecker. Very positive uh, uh, reviews regarding um, the users, but still no demo here. It's 43% uh, uh, off. And it's like first person, you're just... Uh, it's the... the you're basically doing uh, like dismantling uh, spaceships and everything and you have to uh, cover your debt because you basically sold yourself and your afterlife <laughs> to this corporation and you have to go through through the, the mechanics of upgrading f things and, and the gravity stuff. I think it's a phys very physics based and seems pretty good. Uh, also, we got Returnal. Um, no demo here. Also, 20% off. Um, I would like to see like 30% off, I think it's well suited, you should have like a day when this video is published. Um, it's better now in terms of performance because there was a lot of stuttering regarding this game, it's because it's like a bullet hell game, it's very tricky if you have like a lot of stuttering on the game. I think it's way better, uh, still uh, I don't recommend like RTX and everything uh, or else it's going to strain your, your hardware. But uh, still it's very good, I just wish a little bit more on the discount here. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a, I think it's a well worth game to play. Uh, also we got Death Stranding, Death Stranding Director's Cut. Uh, offers, uh, we got 4 more days, 50% off. Uh, I think it's an excellent game, 20 bucks for this game. Uh, it's a Kojima game, Hideo Kojima. It's one of those outdoor uh, game uh, developers. And I think it's, well, I, I'm just, I managed to snag this one, uh, the director's cut version on the Epic Game Store for free um, at the time. And I really, really want to check out this game uh, when I upgrade my PC and maybe do some live streaming because this is more like walking around, uh, not walking simulator, but the, 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 the loop of the game, it's more about deliveries and, and everything and connecting with, the, with everybody in the world. Uh, it's something I think it's more slow paced. I think it's good for a live stream. Uh, also, we got 50% off of Forza Horizon 5, 4 more days also, we got the, the, the editions here, standard deluxe and premium, 50% off in all of them, uh, and even the, this is the add-ons, uh, yeah, like 50, 50 bucks, I think it's a good game, a, f a good game, a good um, deal here, a lot of content here, uh, it's a more casual uh, racing game, but still, uh, it's been very positive all over the place since launch, uh, it's been like, 
two years now basically since this game launched i think it's a good deal and finally we got blasphemous if you like like uh, metroidvania pixel graphics souls like combat this is the game for you um and it has a demo here if you want to try it out before you buy but it's only like seven bucks uh e digital deluxe edition you got 11 bucks with all the with all the the extra thingies and i think some skins and everything i think it's a very decent game if you like this kind of uh, kind of pixel graphics and today 2d uh kind of uh, view here and i think the story is pretty interesting here uh and yeah basically this is it for gaming deals and i'm going to wrap up here with some free games thank you very much mr webpage we got idle champions of the forgotten realms Dungeons and dragons i don't know what it is never heard of it and we got the hunter call of the wild this is like a hunting game not really my thing but there it is epic epic games free uh free games and i'm going to wrap up here guys um with my google and fund me for me to upgrade my pc to get better and more uh content for my private clients and of course in my free spare time doing some uh continue to do my daily stuff with better quality uh doing some scripted content with uh, in some deep types that i would like to talk about and resume my gameplay series and possibly in the new future doing some live streams and also said guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one so till then let me out